Hi, welcome to another video. We're on a slightly different angle today trying to get my autofocus to behave, but hi, welcome. It's a book haul. <laughs> it's a book haul. It is the last day of the month. I've just been to Dimex and picked up some of my orders, pre-orders. Um, so we're doing it. We're doing this whole, anything else I get is going to be in the new year. It, the new year, the new month. So it makes sense. My cat is here. It's been a bit silly, but let's get on with the book haul. Okay, let's start. I, if you've been paying attention to my previous book hauls, I've been kind of doing a like low key inspired by drinking by myself balancing the book style scenario where I'm trying to make sure that the books that come off my physical TV oh, that I put on my physical TBR are uh, based on what I took the amount is based on what I took off my TBR the month before um, so uh, if we add up what I had read in February plus things that were carried like an amount that was carried over from January March I was allowed allowed to buy 15 things there is 15 things here one of them I'm not counting because it was a gift and I'm not going to count gifts um and so I have one to carry forward into the next month but honestly next month looking like it's going to blow out but I'm going to try and minimize the blowout um and for May we're going to have to read like 15 things 15 physical books in April it's it's doable but I'm gonna have to work hard and I got a lot of other stuff to do so but maybe the East it maybe Easter can do it maybe Easter can do it maybe it'll be a breeze maybe maybe it'll be fine maybe April is the month that I really get into my reading groove for the year and I read a shit ton a fingers crossed for me so let's get started where do we start should we start with the two things I've already read? Because there's two of those. The first is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare, which really comes as no surprise. I'm a bit of a Cassandra Clare low-key stan. Like, I don't think she's without fault, but I do really enjoy Shadowhunters. Um, I have read this. I'll be talking about it in my wrap-up. Um, I pretty much read it as soon as I got it. I also got... The Dimmicks had art print sets that were coming with it. So I got these. We have Lucy, um, James, Christopher, and Cordelia. Um, I personally prefer the art set that came with book one. Um, but I don't mind these. I just don't think the, um, what are they called? The silhouette style is really my vibes um but it makes sense for the book so like it's fine <laughs> uh yeah i'll be talking about this more in my wrap up but i have read it already it's the like a million from the shadow hunter series second in the um last hours trilogy it was emotional but i will talk about that more in my wrap up the other one i read like straight away after I got it was At Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the third and final um, book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. Um, this, again, I've read it. I will talk about it in my wrap up. But this is an adult romance series following three sisters. All of which, like, I think you would even classify Danny as plus size. But she's more like badonkadonk plus size. Um, whereas Eve is like... Has, they all have different figures, but I would say they're all plus size. They're all black. Obviously, they're sisters, um, and it's their like romances. This one also, both Eve and the love interest Jacob are autistic, um, and yeah, it was good. But I will talk about that more in my wrap up. I'll talk about it in my wrap up. What's happening with the lighting? It went really rosy all of a sudden. Okay, shall we talk about next? the gift um kj from what is her f i'll put kj's channel down below um and her twitter handle and stuff down below um i'm 
blanking on your full name on YouTube. Um, but KJ, KJ and I are co-hosts for Pages Not Safe for Workathon. That's how I met KJ. Um, and she really wanted to buy me a book. And she bullied me, her and Paige bullied me into making a wish list for this purpose because I have never had one. Um, but I put together one for the purpose of Katie really, really wanting to buy me a book. And she got me The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. I believe this is, um, that M.A. Carrick's an author of colour. Oh! I did not freaking know this. The main character on the front looks black. Um, but it's actually a joint pen name for Marie Brennan who I've read from before and Alec Helms I haven't read from them before I'm gonna look it up okay no so I don't think it's own voices for the black representation but it can't just be my imagination that thinks the main character looks black there and I feel like I've seen it on black fantasy lists but um it is uh, so it's a magical fantasy trilogy it's chonky it's book one um and obviously it's a writing duo I thought it was black fantasy it might, might still be black in its content, but I don't know. Uh, if anyone has any info on that, let me know. Um, it's got some good blurbs. Um, and I do like Marie Brennan's writing, so I'm pretty excited there. The series is called Rook and Rose, which appeals to me. It's an adventure. There's a masquerade, which should be obvious from the front. I don't know. This just has a lot of things that appeal to me. I put it on the list because I'd heard about it, but I didn't know that much details about it, which is normally... The kind of things I put on my wish list were things that I am not super hype about, because otherwise I would just buy them for myself. But I was highly interested in, uh, but were kind of on the back burner because of this limiting my buying scenario. So uh, this is what KJ got me, and I'm pretty excited about it, but it is chunkier than I thought it was. We have one thing that was backlist, so a sequel to a thing that I read recently. That's The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro, which is the third Charlotte Holmes. I read the second one in February, I think. Um, so I ordered this one and it came in. These are young adult murder mystery. You know, it's a Sherlock Holmes retelling. Um, I do really like the series. I'm excited to see where this one goes. I think it could be even good. I'm really excited for it. Okay, there's literally like no other order to the rest of this. Oh, two of them I'm going to be reading in April. Or at least they're on my plan to read in April, even though they're not part of my um, Bookopoly deal TBR, but they're both things that I would really, really like to get to in April. The first one is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. Literally picked this up today. This is the conclusion to the King of Scars duology, the Nicolai duology. Um, I'm excited for it. It's chunkier than I anticipated. It's like almost 700 pages. Almost 600 pages, sorry. Uh, but the writing's kind of big, so hopefully I can breeze through this, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna, this is one that I'm definitely gonna be reading in April. Um, obviously YA, hmm, kind of new adulty fantasy part of the Grishaverse. You probably should have read other parts of the Grishaverse before you read this story. And the other one I'm going to try and fit in in April in my attempt to read like 15 things in April. We have A History of What Comes Next by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the newest Sylvain Nouvelle um, and part of a new series. I think it's a series. He writes sci-fi. I think it's a he. Oh my god, do I not even know that? Oh, there's a playlist. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, further reading. Okay, that's just a conclusion. This is under 300 pages, which is part of the reason why I think it will go by like a breeze. Yes, now. Science fiction, the first ones, like First Contact with the Aliens um, kind of story. This might be the same. Um, and it's it's about manipulating World War II. Uh, I, I don't really know the plot. Do I know the plot? No, but it's about space travel, World War II, um, and the manipulation of like governments and stuff i don't know i'm i'm excited i i think i could fly through this and it will be a nice quick one to get to in april to bulk out my tbr uh to the 15 and actually get it read um but i'm really really excited about this we have a couple of middle grains that i picked up we have winterborne home for mayhem and mystery by ali cardo which is the sequel to winterborne home for vengeance and valor which i read 
last year and really really enjoyed um it's about a girl her name's april she lives at the winterborn home for orphans um and it's kind of superhero mystery lost family found family i don't know the first book was really really good and i really enjoy ali carter's writing i loved her other series she was the author of um the uh gallagher girls the ones like um i'd tell you i love you i'd tell you i love you but then i have to kill you and what's the first one cross my heart hope despite or something like that um and then the high society ones and they, they're like set in the same universe as a crossover. I love those two series. So I was really excited to pick up this series. And I did really enjoy book one. So I picked up book two. The other middle grade I picked up is A Tangle of Spells by Michelle Harrison. Which is the third and final, I believe, book in the Pinch of Magic adventures. Um, so we follow, I believe, the same three girls. Um, which is Betty. Um, what are the other girls' names? Charlie and Fliss. Fliss? Yes. Um, and their magical adventures. This is book three. This is a really magical whimsical series. If you've been following Gavin or Jade, you've probably heard about this series. Um, this one may have just released. I don't know. I haven't heard anybody talk, to it, write, talk about it recently because I know Gavin read it as an arc a few months back. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. Not sure I'm going to get to it because I feel like it's the theme of the moment, but I'm excited. A sequel I'm really excited to read. Ravage the Dark by Tara Sim. This is the sequel to Scavenge the Stars, um, which is a Count of Monte Cristo retelling, a Southeast Asian, um, and I think the main character is demisexual, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I really enjoyed book one. It was really fun. Um, it is a duology, so this is the last of it. Oh, it is a hardcover. Let me see if there's anything. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Um, I did really enjoy book one, so I was keen to pick up book two. But I don't know that much about the actual plot of book two. Can I remember much about the plot of book one? Questionable, but I did really, really enjoy it. So, <laughs> that's the sequel. Um, a couple of things by authors I've read from before. We have... Uh, Be Dazzled by Ryan LaSala. This is, um, a, will be a YA contemporary. Pretty sure this one's contemporary. His first book was, um, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, Reverie, which is a urban fantasy. This one, I'm pretty sure it's just straight contemporary. Um, it's queer, uh, gay. And about bedazzling. And a bedazzling competition? Cosplay competition. Yes. Um, I'm excited to read this. Not sure when we'll get to it, but I did really enjoy Reverie, so I think I would really like this. Another book by an author I've previously really enjoyed, that is The Mirror Season by Anna Marie Mecklemore. This is, oh, I've heard some mixed things, um, but I've loved everything else Anna Marie Mecklemore's written. Um, they write amazing stuff. This one's about a girl and a boy who are both assaulted at the same party. Um, normally she has trans characters. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't know that much about the actual plot, but I will pin it pretty much. I think there's only two books of hers that I haven't read, and I have them both on audiobook waiting to be read. I just haven't got to them yet. Uh, I love Anna Marie McLemore. I'll read pretty much anything they write, so we're gonna read this. Oh, underneath. Pretty. This is not my favorite cover of theirs, but it's good. It's just not my favorite. I don't love it as much as some of their other covers. Uh, and we also have The Project by Courtney Summers, who's the author of Sadie, which was one of my favorite books of the year I read it. It was a couple of years back. Um, this is about cults. Um, our main character's sister ends up in a cult and she goes looking for her. Um, apparently the ending will be really mixed. I have mixed opinions. I'm really, really excited about it. I was going to try and squeeze it in today, but I'm not going to finish the other book I'm reading in time to also fit this in today so it's gonna be maybe in may um but i'm really excited about it uh if i somehow get through this might be like my 16th book in april if i can manage it but it probably won't be i would love to read it in april but i don't think it's gonna happen but this is um i don't know how it's told sadie was told in a podcast format and i really really love that on audiobook i might listen to the audiobook along with this one as well but yes cults um, I do want to read more of her backlist as well, but 
Um, which has got a couple of other things. Oh, heaps of other things. I do want to read Cracked Up To Be and All The Rage are the two that I've heard about, but she's got a bunch of anything. And I will probably work through a backlist at some point, but this is her newest release. And then finally, three things I bought just because they look really good. And I couldn't help myself. First off, we have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This cover is gorgeous. And it's a YA horror, liminal spaces, eerie real world haunts, um, haunting modern fairy tale. That just sounds amazing. I literally know nothing about the plot of this. Don't ask me about the plot. But that sounds fabulous. I'm going to read it. All Our Hidden Gifts by Caroline O'Donoghue. This one also is like a YA fantasy horror-y, uh, by fantasy I mean like paranormally horror, um, involving tarot cards. Um, again, I don't know that much, but it looks amazing. Um, and finally, uh, A Dark and a Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth, which is a fairy fantasy murders, um, a bunch of characters, and it's gay. Lesbians. Or at least... Oh my god, I've got the burps. Or at least sapphics. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this either. It's pretty chunky. But it just looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so good. So those are all the books that I'm going to try and read. Sometime soon. But that I hold in the month of March. It's a bit much. It's a bit chaotic. But there's one less than it could have been. So there's that. There's that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this book haul. I know it's pretty chaotic. I feel like I'm in a chaotic mood, but hopefully you enjoyed. Otherwise, I'll see you so much with another video. And thanks for watching. Bye.